Thank you very much, Rant. So well, at the beginning of the show, I mentioned what is your core look, and here's what I think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Turns out I was kind of wrong. But Carrie Wilson, kind of right, kind of right too. <laughs> Carrie Wilson of Carrie Wilson Makeup is here, and we are going to discuss core look because it's going to simplify your life. What I didn't realize was, thanks to you, I am now executing that daily Good. because you gave me a very simple palette to go by. But for everybody watching, you don't have to go out and change much, or maybe you do. Right. So, What's a core look? So do you open your makeup drawer and you have 50 things in there and you're digging and you're like, oh, what eyeshadow am I going to use? I like this brow pencil, but sometimes I don't like this eyeliner. And you're just confused. It's like when you walk into your closet, right? Mm -hmm. What you want is, is like when you walk into your closet, that favorite skirt, that favorite black dress that just always works. You need makeup that just always works. I don't care if you're going to drop your kids off at school or you're going on a very fancy date tonight or a speaking engagement. You need the colors that match your natural tones that always work with the right tools. It makes everything simple. So in other words, you're standing in front of your closet. You're, you're picking out some things that you know you love. Right. You put them on and the same goes with your makeup. So right. you don't need to say, I'm wearing coral. So my eyeshadow needs to match coral. No, your eyeshadow needs to match you. That's right. Now you can pop and change things if you want to, but if you don't have that core look, you should not be expanding on anything else. You have to have that core first, then you can accessorize. Okay, what are the very, very basics in a core look? So very, very basics is you have to have formulas and colors that match you, especially when we're talking about concealer, which needs to be one shade lighter than your, your skin. Okay, so you have that brightness. You need a good foundation, whether that's a tinted moisturizer for you or a dual powder. It does not have to be anything full coverage. Match your lifestyle. A lot of people like more coverage than others and that's fine. So find that one that you can throw on and I mean throw on, right? We don't have time in the morning to be going, oh, is this the one that's too dark for me or is this the one that's too light? Oh, this mm -hmm. one's too dry. Find that right one. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you talk about blush, a really, really cool way to find a good core blush is when you have no lipstick on, I want you to put the blush up to your lips mm -hmm. and say, are my lips a little bit more rosy? Are they more peachy? Are they more purpley? Everybody's lip is different. If you match your lip to your blush, it will always look good. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Do you know, Carrie, I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that a little bit later. It does help. Um, and then we talked about eyes a few months ago, right? Mm -hmm. Finding that really easy eye. Maybe it's that nice, like, gold shadow, the rose gold, something you could throw on the lid in the crease and, and walk out the door. A core look should take you no more than 15 minutes, and that's from start to finish. A good brow. If you don't have a brow and you don't have a good concealer under the eye, nothing else is going to work. Ah, Those are okay. the two, two things that I change the most often. And when you're talking about the lip, it's that color that no matter what you're wearing, it always looks good. So something that matches the lip tone, a lot of people say something that matches uh, the color of the inside of your lip. Um, you know, something that when you put on just kind of intensifies and makes things look nice and even but isn't screaming out at you, right? So a core look might, just getting to your core look, might entail cleaning out your makeup bag and starting completely fresh uh, if there's not a budget for that. And, and right. you've never said to everybody, you can't go to the drugstore. You Absolutely can't do that. You've you never, never said that. But it could mean calling Carrie and saying, can you help me go through my makeup bag? Or it right. could just mean figuring out which things, you know, you got to toss now because you really never use them. That's right. My question to people always is, what do you love in your makeup bag and what do you hate? And that's a strong word, but there's always something in there. And then mm -hmm. it's like, why? Why are you keeping it? Or maybe you're not using the right brush. So when you come to me, I want you to bring your makeup. I, I want to go through it. I can answer your question as the last <clears throat> thing. I know exactly why I keep these things. It's because I knew I paid for them <laughs> and I feel guilty throwing them away even though I don't use them. But I've learned a lesson. Carrie Wilson Makeup. Dot com is where you can learn more. That's right. And we are going to be back with more River City Life.